The first step of installing kitchen cabinets is pretty easy. You just need to confirm that you have all the right cabinets and that they're the proper dimensions. Then, if your kitchen floor is uneven, find the highest point on the floor where the cabinets will be installed. Use that location as your starting point to mark on the wall where every cabinet will go. Use a level to ensure that the markings are level and plumb across the entire room, and don't forget to allow for the height of the finished floor. It's usually easier to install the wall cabinets first, so let's start there. Locate the studs on the wall where the first cabinet will go and make a mark. And I come over here. I have another one right there. Transfer those stud locations to the back of the cabinet and drill a pilot hole for each stud at the top and bottom of the cabinet. Have a helper hold the cabinet in the proper position on the wall, ensuring that it is even with the marks. Screw through the back of the cabinet into the studs at the top of the cabinet. Then, check if the cabinet is plumb and shim it at the top or bottom if necessary. Secure the cabinet through the remaining pilot holes. Repeat the process for the remaining wall cabinets. Then reinstall the shelves and attach the doors. To install the base cabinets, align the first cabinet with the marks on the wall. Now we want to make sure that it's centered over the window. So we have a center line right here on the wall and we have a reference line on the cabinet also. And the nice thing about this uh, sink base cabinet, it doesn't come with a back, so we don't have to scribe around all the pipes. All right, well, you can see how low the floor is just over here, so this is going to have to be shimmed up a little bit. All right, I've got mine up. I'm right at the line. A little more right. One more. That's it. Screw the back of the cabinet into the studs and use shims to fill any space between the cabinet and the wall. Now before I make that screw real tight, I actually want to put a shim in this space right here. You notice that the piece on the back is kept back on the edge of the cabinet. So we'll fill that gap and then tighten the screw. Check if the cabinet is level from front to back and add shims as necessary. You want the side spot on. All right, let's see how this one is. How do you look over there? All right, front's got to go up a little bit, so I'll just put the shims under there. Okay, that's it for that cabinet. You may find it easier to attach several base cabinets together first and then install them as one single unit. Just make sure that the cabinets are even with one another and perfectly straight across the front face. Once all the cabinets are secured in place, just reinstall the drawers, doors, and any remaining hardware. If you measure carefully when you lay out everything at the beginning of the project, Installing kitchen cabinets can be pretty straightforward. Just remember that floors usually aren't level and walls usually aren't plumb, but with a little know-how and a few shims, your new cabinets can be installed perfectly.